Um, hello friends, I hope that you are doing well today. So today's video is just going to be a little bit different. We've got a short little testimony and a song to go along with it. The song is called You Are My Rescue. That will come a bit later um, and that will be done just a little bit differently than um, the way I usually do songs. Um, but. Uh, uh, first off, just a little testimony. Um, some uh, some people, you know, know about this, um, but uh, you know, I always thought, well, how how would I even, you know, talk about that, or should I, or that would just sound boring. We give them a bunch of facts, or I was like, I have to talk about this somehow. So basically, this last um, well, June. Um, I was very close to almost not being here. <laughs> uh, when I think about it, it's just a little like, oh, wow, you know. Um, uh, we, we serve a good, good father who knows how to step in and intervene um, when, you know, it's not our time yet. <laughs> so, um, you know, long story short, I, I knew that I wasn't feeling... Um, quite right, but I didn't know what was wrong, you know, this sort of thing, things, and, you know, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm one of those kind of people that doesn't exactly just run to the doctor, because I'm like, well, uh, I'm one of those people, you know, oh, no, I don't need to go to the doctor, <laughs> but um, I knew something was very wrong, um, but one one particular night, it was just, mm, it was very apparent that something was very wrong, and then I was just led to um, contact uh, people I usually, you know, don't normally talk to or haven't spoken to in a while um, from an old church that I used to go to. Um, but long story short, you know, after talking to them um, uh, with the one person, you know, they ended up majorly helping me because I was saying, you know, I need help. I don't know what's wrong. It was kind of late at night. And um, they came over. I was like, I don't know why I feel off. You know, I was seeing it thinking like, do I have diabetes or something? You know, I, you know, I feel well, well, weak, and you know, I was coming. You come up with all sorts of uh, things, or whatever. And the reason I was thinking that is because, you know, people have like diabetic comas. Well, you know, and they pass out and stuff. Well, actually, a week and a half before, you know, this incident happened, I'm going to tell you about. Um, I actually was <laughs> on the floor in in front of my front door for two whole days, and for different reasons, I knew it was that long. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's that's a whole other thing. But anyway, that's what I was thinking. Like, why why did I pass out? Um, uh, and so I was like, oh, I bet it's diabetes, you know. People have diabetic comas. I bet you know. I'll have her come over and check my blood sugar, and you know, and I, I bet it's that. <laughs> you know how we, you know, go in our mind. We think we can figure it out. You know, we come become doctors all of a sudden. Um, but uh, indeed, it wasn't that. But um, yeah, I, I was so thankful that she was willing to come over. You know, late at night, and she checked my blood sugar, and it was fine. And immediately it became very apparent that it went from bad to like really, really bad. Like I became extremely weak um, and just completely pale. I looked at myself in the mirror and I knew that something was very wrong. It just became apparent to both of us. It's like, you know, she needed to make sure I got to the hospital. And, and so it was just like the ways that, you know, uh, Father Alba you know, guided me to contact people that I haven't you know, spoken to in uh, quite a long while, um, you know, is interesting because it was just the perfect way, perfect timing, perfect people helping me. And uh, if you're watching this, hey, yeah, you know who you are. Yeah, thank you very much. But and long story short, um, about that night, um, you know, she was, was going to drive me to the hospital. And uh, then I said, oh, let, you know, let me go up the steps and, you know, and, you know, make sure my cats have extra food. And then by the time I was going down the steps, like, I knew, like, mm, I, 
that something was like more than wrong. Like I, I was like I felt like I was about to die. Like it was just like okay, something's very wrong. And then after that, I don't remember anything else. Apparently, she said, you know, I I came over to her driver's side to where she was standing there, and I was just staring at her and a blank stare, completely unresponsive. And, it, you know, and so I didn't get in her car, but she called an ambulance. And so um, I was in the ER unresponsive for four hours, as I was told. And then the next morning, I woke up in the ICU. <laughs> Can you imagine waking up? You're not really a doctor person. I mean, you're... you're you're, you know, waking up and you have these bags hooked up to you. You're looking at like, what? You know, and you have someone walk up to you to say, you're in the ICU. I, mean, I am? Like, you know, <laughs> so I knew I, you know, wasn't feeling well at all. I hardly had any energy. Um, but it's kind of one of those things like, how did I get here? You know, and I was put, I was put in an ambulance? I don't even remember that. What? You know, so, <laughs> um, it, you know, it, it's just one of those things where, okay, uh, life just changed right now, and it's like it, his way of getting our attention and whatever it is, whatever the issue is, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you know, he, he's saying, hey, you know, I want to bring this to your attention so this can be fixed. Um, so, uh, yeah, it got fixed all right, but I was very close to not being here where nothing could get fixed, but, you know, it takes him to step in to intervene in all of our life situations and what's going on, and, you know, I'm forever thankful um, that, you know, he saved my life, and so you might be asking, well, what was the problem, Jody? <laughs> well, um, not to give all boring details, you know, but um, in short, you know how people could be dehydrated? Well, I was actually overhydrated, um, you know, just from doing a physical job, and I, you know, you think you're supposed to like down a bunch of water all the time, and if you're not eating enough, you know, over time, that accumu accumulating, you can flood all the electrolytes out of your body, I was extremely low on sodium, and it, the scary part is, is that it has the same symptoms, I thought I was dehydrated that night, and I kept drinking water, I kept looking at my my face in the mirror and I kept getting more white and white and white and I was like, you know, uh, something's very wrong here. And I was like, oh, I have kidney disease, oh, I have, you know, diabetes, you know. It wasn't any of that. You know, we think we can figure it out, but, <laughs> you know, he, he, sometimes it takes, like, disasters like that in different areas of our lives for us to figure out you know, so it's not just a little fix, but so it's a big, full fix, so that we can know, oh, this was what was going on, so I know to fully fix it, rather than just, oh, let me just slap a little band-aid over it, you know, you know, our version of fixing things, and how long it might take, and how deep the knife goes in, so to speak, you know, whatever, um, isn't what his version is, but his version is best because then we come out even better because now I know what the problem is. Hey, Jody, don't drink so much water. Mm, make, sure, make sure you stop getting stuff that says no salt. <laughs> yeah, I need that sodium. You know, after this situation, I look at salty snacks a, a lot differently. I'm like, hey, yeah, I like some of that. <laughs> but anyway, you know, like I said, you, you know, ever since this happened, I always knew I, I somehow I wanted to talk about this, but I, I was thinking, of course, like, okay, I have to, I have to write a song of praise to him, of thanksgiving, um, to, you know, to say thank you for saving my life, and, you know, a little while ago, I was at my keyboard, actually, and I just started playing around, and I'm made up this song called You Are My Rescue, um, but actually I'm house sitting for somebody, somebody who ha actually has a real piano, and I was playing it there, and I'm thinking, oh, it sounds a lot better on this, so I actually recorded um, the piano part already, um, and so I'm going to play that, you know, and then add my guitar part, so that's how the song is a little bit differently 
Um, but, you know, if he went overboard for me, I mean, there's so many different details I could add where he was really came through for me and, you know, made sure this was paid for and that was paid for. And then, you know, from the week and, a week and a half before I went to the hospital when I was laying on the floor for two days, I got a big wound on my tailbone just from laying there and because the, I'm thin and the pressure there, you know, made a pretty bad wound, you know, like the kind the old, old people get. Yeah, I got one of those. And so I had to go to a wound care center for months and months and months. And, um, you know, it would have been over $8,000 just for the wound care center. Um, and, but that's completely, you know, paid because, you know, I got approved for financial assistance. Just so many different ways where he came through for me, you know. And I just have to give him praise, and I, I've been forever thankful, you know, <laughs> every Friday night. It doesn't matter how long it will be from now to, like, I always think, like, I, you know, this, that was the night that I was put in an ambulance. But, and if I wasn't, I probably wouldn't have woken up the next day because, you know, from all the boring details and stats, I, mean, I don't need to give you about this, but it's, like, pretty much, like, it, it, that's how close I was. So, you know, when you hear that and you know that he stepped in to intervene, um, yeah, it makes me want to praise him more. It makes me want to do more of what he's called me to do. You know, you know we're called to, you know, shine his light, um, you know, in whatever ministry that you have. It may not be uh, music um, or, or whatever it is, and to... <clears throat> We're here to glorify him and to do his will, and um, you know, how, how can I not praise him after that? How can I not give testimony? But I, I, I just kept thinking, well, how do I do that? You know, how, you know, how do I have words to say or you know, a song to sing that it doesn't, you know, <laughs> come close to you know what he did for me? It doesn't do it justice. But I kept having it in the back of my mind, like, oh, how, how am I gonna? And, you know, talk about this, but, you know, it, it, he's a good, good father, and, you know, I, that, that time that I was on the floor for two whole days, um, I, I'm imagining if the enemy thought, well, that's it, aha, good, I got her. Can you imagine looking at somebody just laying on the floor? I was wondering what my cats probably thought. And that's a good metaphor to think of, like, aha. I can you picture him standing over me, being like, aha, I got you. <laughs> and, you know, I like to say, but Yah, but Yeshua, Jesus, said, uh-uh, mm-mm. Uh, she's mine, and I you know, need her to do <laughs> what work that I've called her to do and what he says uh, goes and not the enemy and we can apply that to all areas of our lives no matter or, you know what's going on um, you know our faithful father knows how to you know, bring us through you know, all circumstances you know no matter what it looks like and no matter how much of a dead end something looks like, you know, he is able to cast that mountain into the sea. Nothing is too hard for him. He is the God of all flesh, after all. Hallelujah. And from that day, he, and then a week and a half later, he, mm -mm, what looked and felt like a disaster, and he brought goodness out of, and in that, how and who he is, that's his character. He knows how to be a good, good father and to take what's bad and bring good from it. And that's why I love him so much, and we can trust him at his word. When he, you know, Romans 8:28 is very true. A lot of good came from that. Now I learned my lesson. Hey, Jody, don't trick, you know, so much water. It's not that wonderful. <laughs> but you know, among other things, but I definitely, uh, you know, appreciate um, just being here. Um, like I said, every Friday night, I just think. I'm so thankful um, to him, and I, I will f forever um, just, you know, <laughs> be aware of that. And I'm so thankful.
to, you know, for what he has done, you know, and like I said, like, a, a song that I could write, you know, it feels like, you know, it doesn't serve it justice, I mean, you know, what he did for me and all the ways he came through. Um, I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. Like, you know, I could share more, but um, I want to share a song now um, because, indeed, you know, he is my rescue. You know, he, he rescued me, you know, twice. Um, and so you, you can't just keep going on living life normally when that's not a normal type thing to be like, oh, I was very close to not being here. You can't, you know, not be changed by something like that. And so, you know, I just wanted to give testimony of that, that I'm very grateful and thankful um, for his goodness. And it definitely has made me want to, you know, <laughs> do more songwriting. Um, and I, you know, I want to continue to do that. So, um, as time permits <laughs> and energy. But anyway, I'm going to share the song now. Like I said, I'm going to do it a little bit differently, um, different kind of song, you know, than a lot of my other ones, but um, I'm just going to share it, and as always, I hope it's a blessing to you, but uh, it's to give him much um, honor and glory um, as he deserves, for sure, so, but, okay, it's called You Are My Rescue, and, uh, like I said, I used the um, piano at someone's house to uh, record, so uh, <laughs> just gonna do it a little differently here.
things and much much more he is my king my savior my healer my redeemer my shield indeed my rescue and I hope that served as a great um, reminder to you um, that you know he is uh, the God of the impossible what looks and feels impossible look and felt like I was about to die right? he steps in to bring new life hallelujah that is the awesome God we serve. And forever I will be thankful for what he did for me. I hope that was a blessing to you. Much love, friend.